Okay, so find the area of the parallelogram shown below. How do we do it? Well, if you go to the exam two notes, here they are. This is the exam number two notes. If you go down to the bottom, we have a bunch of formulas for all kinds of different shapes. So I've uh, already put that for you here. Let me paste it in. There it is. So there it is. So here's the notes, uh, the exam two notes, formula sheets. And here's parallelogram right here. So parallelogram, area, base times height. So there we go. So we can just say, okay, area of a paral parallelogram, area of a parallelogram is base times height. So the question is, what's the base and what's the height? Well, we know the base. The base is always, you know, the bottom. So what, what is that base? What exactly is that going to be? So the base, we just count the jumps. Remember, we always count jumps, not dots. So it's going to be one, two, three, isn't it? So the base of mine is three, three jumps. Now, what's the height? How do we figure out the height? Should we go, is the height one, two, three, four? Oops, <laughs> got the wrong tool there. Is, is it like that? One, two, three, four, five, is it five, is that right? No, no, height, height can't go diagonal, right? You can't measure height. You always have to go straight down to the ground, not diagonal. You have to go straight from the top, straight down to the ground at 90 degrees. That's what height is, isn't it? It's straight. Now, it doesn't matter where. You can go from right here straight down at 90 degrees. That's fine. Oops, I didn't go very straight there, did I? Try that again. You go right here straight down. That's fine. Or right here straight down. It doesn't matter where you do it as long as you, even, even outside of the shape over here, it, you know, on this one, outside of the shape, as long as you go straight down to the ground, that is truly height. So what is the height? Starting from count the jumps, one, two, three, four, five. So the height is five. And the base is three. So it's a area is base times height, three times five, 15. The area of that parallelogram is 15. Because the base is three, the height is five. Now, that's, that's great. You could do it that way. Another way, if you don't want to deal with all those formulas, I'm, I'm just going to redo the problem a different way. Here's another option. If you prefer, you could say, look, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna break this thing into triangles. Just go right here and say, look, that's just a little triangle right there. And then the same thing right here. Right? Break those those two triangles. And then in the very center, you've got some squares. We can count those off easy enough. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? There's ten squares in the middle, and then you got a triangle on each side. And how big are those triangles that are on the side? How much area is in those triangles? Well, if you just count the squares here, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten again. And oh wait, wait, that's not what I meant to do. Don't do that. That's not the right thing to do. If you look at this rectangle, is what I meant to do. That triangle is half of that rectangle. And how big is that rectangle? It's five. See how that rectangle occupies five? So the triangle <clears throat> is half of five. Half of five, half of five dollars is 250. So the triangle occupies half of those five squares. <clears throat> and the same thing over here, this triangle is 2.5 also. So we have 2.5, 2.5, and 10 in the middle. 10 plus 2.5 plus 2. Point. This is another way. This is a second way to do the problem. Total area. The total area must be the 10 in the middle and the two triangles on the right and the left, which are each 2.5, because they're each half of five squares. So what does that add up to be? 15 again. See how that's the same answer? 
Either way, you can either use the area of a parallelogram formula, base times height, but make sure you know height is straight down to the ground, or just break it into two triangles and a rectangle in the middle and find the area of each of those and add them up. It'll work either way. 15.